have it's me again, Melanie um, from Banish the Beige on Instagram and TikTok. Um, if you want any more sort of um, quick snappy DIY projects, head over there. Everything we've done before is all on there, but we are documenting our renovation journey. So today's topic is scouring Rightmove. I know loads of you are fans of Rightmove. I wanted to show you how I worked through Rightmove to make sure that the right stuff was coming up, that we were viewing the right things and knew in mind exactly what we wanted. Um, but you also need to be a little bit open-minded as to what you might look at. We've actually gone for something completely different to maybe what I was planning I was going for. So I'm going to show you now how I go through all the searches and different things. Okay, so here we have the Right Move app up, our website. Now I use a drawn search area because I find that that encompasses um, more properties in the area that we want to live in. And I don't have to search as many different areas. So and I put in my parameters. So I do think you should put in a minimum price actually, um, you know, to take away some of those smaller properties that maybe you didn't want to look at. I always put a minimum of three bed, although we were looking for a four, because obviously you might end up, you know, buying something that you could go into the loft or extend. Um, and property types, detached, semi-detached, terrace, bungalow. Now I'll put terrace and bungalow in. Um, you might not do that, I, I suppose because sometimes you can get a really decent end terrace or um, they're described as something different in the description. So it covers all bases essentially. Um, and then obviously you're coming up with sort of 329 uh, results there. So I tend to have a little look on the map for you, um, you know, having a look into these different sort of uh, more rural areas and things like that. So let's take this one maybe for example. So maybe unusual to look at actually, but um, quite sizable. And then as you can see, it have um, nice views, thinking about the type of location you want to be in, I suppose. How much work is there to do? Um, for me, there wouldn't be enough work, I suppose, indoors for me to get a really good deal on this one. So I look for things that um, maybe need quite a bit more work. So let's try and find something else. I think no properties are not going to come up like that, are they not? Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's have a look over here. Okay, I think I've seen this one before. Um, so it's period property, 485. Quite a bit, few buildings around it. I didn't, um, we didn't view this in the end, but it did take my eye when I first saw it because specifically for the original features inside so I can see there's quite a bit of panelling and which you know big kind of panelling but this would be the type of property that we know we could um, make quite a bit of money on um, updating got a kitchen you could live with as well so yeah lots of detail like this that is what I'd be looking for okay so obviously when you like something Make sure you save it. I'm not signed in at the moment, but saving it will save you having to go back and try and find it again if you can't. There's a lot of property to look for. And then you obviously want to contact the estate agent and things. Oh, let's have a quick look at the floor plan. I always think the floor plan is probably the most important thing that you're looking for, actually. Um, so I'm just seeing what you can do with this space. Can you live with it now? You know, would you have to move into another property? You've got to think about that for sort of budgeting and stuff. We'll go through budgeting on another um session but yeah this is my kind of thing I love looking at a floor plan if you a bit unusual to have cut this out here i wonder if that was probably a bedroom wasn't it and that they probably didn't have a bathroom up in this property um because it is quite an old property But yeah, so that's basically how I do my right move searches. I hope you found it helpful.